Hello, my name is Nikhil Roberts and this is my project for chemistry. It is about Henri Becquerel and Marie Curie and their um, discovery of radiation and how it affects the model of the atom in that time period. This is during the later 1890s, so 1800s, the late 1800s, so it's like 1890s to um, early 1900s, maybe like 1902. So, um, this man is William Röntgen, and he is known for his discovery of the x-ray in 1895. This does not have to do with radioactivity. However, it does have to do with Henri Becquerel, who was the discoverer, discoverer of radioactivity. He was inspired by Wilhelm Röntgen in um, his discovery of x-rays, and he decided that he wanted to learn about other ways of phosphorescence and luminescence and all these other fun things about waves and light and atoms and things. So, he was the son of Edmund Becquerel. He is known as A.E. Becquerel, French name. He, they were both from France. He was born in Paris, I believe. And um, he is known, Edmund is known for his work in luminescence and phosphorescence, which is right there. And he, um, Henri Becquerel came from a long line of chemists. He was, I believe, the fourth generation of chemists or scientists, and his son became the fifth generation. So he went to college for engineering at Ecole, Poly Ecole Polytechnique. And Ecole de Ponts et Chaussis. I I cannot speak French, nor can I pronounce French in any way, and I'm sorry for butchering that. But he discovered after William Wilhelm Röntgen discovered about um, radioactivity and all of its fun little pieces. So we're gonna move this. And his experiment was went like this. He wanted to discover how uranium had, like, it's pretty much how uranium was acted upon by the sun. And so what he did was he took a uranium sample and he put it on photographic, at a photographic plate and that uranium was left outside in the sun to do its uranium thing and to left, leave him a print of, um, uranium on it. The problem was his experiment, it failed. He actually um, had a, several rainy days and therefore his project cannot move for, could not move forward. So he took the uranium sample inside and he put it inside of a drawer. Now the interesting thing is there was no light within that drawer and without light normally photographic plates from those days could not develop. Well, little did Henry Becquerel know, um, the uranium emitted energy and so the photographic plate was actually developed and when Henri Becquerel saw this he was a little bit confused. I mean, here was a little photograph he was trying to develop and then he knew it was going to fail because he, there was no light. How can you make a photograph with no light? And then it came out even brighter than with a normal sunlight. So this is the photographic shadow of from the uranium. And so this all inspired a very nice woman, I assume she was nice, I have no idea, whose name was Marie Curie. Marie Curie um, was brought up in a very Catholic home. She was brought up, or Christian home rather, she was brought up in the belief that um, you should literally translate the Bible, and it was very against science in a way. Funnily enough, she became a physicist. Um, <laughs> she was born in Wa Warsaw, and she was part of the Russian partition, which is pretty much the Russian part of Poland. So, um, she moved to France where she met Pierre Curie, her husband, and he was also, I believe he was a chemist, 
and his brother was also a scientist. So Pierre and his brother made an electrometer and that looks like this. And it is a sensitive device used to pick up electric currents. So this electrometer allowed Marie Curie to detect um, electrical currents from around the air samples of uranium. Interesting as this is, this means that uranium was giving an output. It was not just a rock sitting there. It was a rock sitting there giving out energy. And that energy was in the form of alpha particles, which is the product of radiation along a product of radio deca radioactive decay along with radiation. And so this is that. So my conclusion about um, radioactive atoms and radioactivity in general is um, that when an atom, a radioactive atom, um, goes through its radioactive phases, it will emit energy, radiation, and an alpha particle. This would mean that the atoms are made up of free-moving electrons or free-moving negative particles, which would allow the alpha particle to be created and allow the energy to be created. So this would be going against the plum pudding model that was said that electrons were embedded into a or well electrons were embedded into a large proton and it had no nucleus. This would suggest that um, the atom had a nucleus and had free moving electrons which allowed for the energy energy to radiate along with the alpha particle, which is two protons and two neutrons. However, they did not know about neutrons at that time, so eh. But pretty much they did know that that alpha particle was energy that was emitted that was um, strong and allowed for electric currents and for just the em emission of energy which could allow for the photographic plates to be rendered.